Salam Aleikum. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Pray you guys are doing great. You know how it is, guys. Same old, same old. Uh, nothing new. Supposed to be uh, a couple of days ago, was speaking about Philadelphia. I mean, I'm, this is what I heard from Philadelphia and, and some parts of Jersey. Uh, I don't know where else. Uh, about a heat wave. Uh, they actually... Uh, suspended the uh, classes today in school for the kids because of this heat wave warning that's in effect. Uh, it started yesterday, but it wasn't at his potential yet. You know, today they're saying it's going to be close to 105 with the humidity, of course, you know. Um, so they're warning the people, you know, the elderly, stay hydrated, stay cool. Uh, they actually tell the elderly to don't close the windows because there's no air that's circulating in the property, in the apartment, in the apartment or the house. I just hope that you know the elderly and the young kids have air conditioning in their houses at least or their apartments because it's a, you know it's a shame to be uh, in a heat wave and you don't have these little things that we take for granted, you know. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, I'm here, like always, working, doing what I have to do. Um, and I came here to speak a little bit about when we hear, or I hear, because I have gotten this question a couple of times, and it's, it's, it's a question that you could explain it, and at the same time you can in its totality because you will be giving out things that you can't. Now, um, there might be others in YouTube that will give you the whole shebang and the process and everything. But I run into this misconception for me, for what I perceive as a misconception, uh, that people there start in this tradition uh, that are being taught um, when they start speaking about or they start hearing elders or their teachers speak about um, encapsulating or introducing a force of nature into a particular um, parcel whether it be wood, terracotta, metal bamboo or any sort but they gonna they're gonna introduce or in other word encapsulate depending what word you use and which one do you like for you that sounds better <laughs> uh, they say misconception because when you gonna introduce a force of nature into whatever parcel you're using other than the ritual and the ceremony and the things that you have to do um, you're not encapsulating or introducing the full force of that energy. That natural energy, that natural phenomena. You're not encapsulating that or introducing the full force of that into whatever you put in it, whatever parcel you put in it in. And I say it's a misconception because there are people out there that I have spoken about, that I've spoken to, I'm sorry, not about, to, that ask, how can I encapsulate that? How can I introduce that into what I'm conforming? How is it possible? Um, and at the same time, they think in their mind that they're actually introducing and encapsulating the full force of that natural phenomena, what we call energies, right? Um, and that is not the case. You sometimes have to ask yourself, right? And you know, and I understand, I've been there. 
I've been there. I know exactly where these questions or where these thought processes come from. I've been there and I'm still going through things. I'm young in the tradition also. You understand? And I don't know anything. Uh, I'm just like you guys. When you hear Tatas or Yaya speaking about encapsulating, introducing some type of energy into whatever they uh, are conforming, they're not capturing or encapsulating or introducing the full potential of whatever energy or energies or phenomena that they want to introduce into that parcel. Gisi and Ganga, whatever. Then you, you will ask yourself, well, ain't that a contradiction? I thought when you do this and that, and you do the right ceremony, and you call upon that, and you introduce that energy into that, then that the parcel is considered uh, whatever, such and such, or it has such and such of that force in there. Yes, it has some of the force or some of that energy or a, how would you say, a, 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 uh, I'm trying to look for the word, a, let's say a, a partial or a, a, type of type of um, trying to look for the word I can't find it I don't know too early in the morning for me today uh, it's hot as crazy out here um, let's say a type of information of that particular energy that goes into, depending on what energy you're trying to introduce into that parcel, and after you do your, you know, when you do your ceremonies and you do whatever you have to do, whatever prayers, whatever canto, mambos, whatever you have to do, and you introduce that, whether you introduce it before or you introduce it after, so that's another another thing that's out there. there some do stuff before, some do things after. Um, you're looking. Okay. Let me make it simple. If you're trying to capture the force of lightning, right? Lightning. That phenomena. And lightning is just not lightning. You understand? We have other things that consist or part or make that phenomena. But let's just say you want to encapsulate or introduce or whatever a lightning, uh, the essence of lightning into that. That's the word I was looking for. Do you really think that you're going to capture a lightning bolt and put it inside that parcel? Give me one second. Sorry for the empty air, sorry for the empty air. I'm sorry. No, you're not gonna capture a lightning bolt. Imagine if you was to think, right? That you're gonna capture a tornado or the full potential or the original source of everything that makes a tornado come together that whole process you can't so what you actually really 
introducing, right, is the essence of whatever natural phenomena of this planet, that's what you are introducing into your parcel of whatever you may be doing to introduce whatever into whatever it is. Um, it's kind of, you are introducing information of a certain event, a certain phenomena into that parcel. And that information that you put inside that parcel, the Infumbe uses that and knows how to manipulate the, that to his or her's benefit to perform whatever duty that Infumbe has to do. I hope you guys understood. We never are able to capture any phenomena. There are some ceremonies that you will hear some Tata speak about that have to do with the air or the wind, right? Let's say. Do you really think that you could capture the wind? If you capture the wind, everybody else will die. No oxygen. Right? Like if you was to capture the air, the oxygen, to use it, you yourself will die. I'll die. Everybody else will die. So think about these things. Let's 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 reason. Let's understand a little bit. What are they speaking about? How can I capture the ocean? How can I capture the river? It's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same using an infumba, a spirit, making a deal, a contract, a tratado with a certain spirit that's still here and wants to continue here uh, for whatever reason you're going to use it for or it wants to be used for or the agreement you and that infumba where the male or female have, it's not the same. You guys, you, you, you gotta remember, that's a spiritual being, a person that lived and walked and breathed and ate and did everything like you did, it just still, it's just still here. And it has an ability that us, being in this, in this body, we don't have, okay? Some of us have some spiritual gifts, but not like an actual person that already has passed to the other side and could transition to dimensions, including this one. Natural forces, just like be seen be spirits, is totally different than a spirit that comes from a human. It's not the same. It doesn't work the same. You don't do the things the same you do with a Mfumbe, a spirit. It's totally different. And it's a totally different understanding and a way of doing things with these natural phenomena. Right? Just in oxygen. There are different things that create oxygen. There are things like the trees. They filter carbon monoxide, right? And they also help to produce and filter the oxygen for us to breathe, right? Just like that. There are multiple things that make these phenomena uh, occur and be to the either full potential or not so full of the potential. 
look at it like this. All hurricanes are not the same. Or tornadoes are not the same. Or earthquakes are not the same. They happen and work in different levels. Why? It has to do with whatever is going on and how much it has, uh, how much of the natural or forces or phenomena have built up to make that certain power very powerful or help it. Hope you guys understood my gibberish. I don't know nothing. I don't claim to know anything. I'm just here trying to make reason of things that others are asking and are looking for and I try my best to help. Thumb up the video guys uh, for the algorithm. Salam alaikum, alaikum, salam, que sambi la cutare, con mucho más y Be safe.